There are a number of situations that may occur at a school that would prompt the Douglas County School District to either evacuate students or release them early from school, including severe weather, a power or water outage, or a crisis near or at the school. Under certain circumstances, it may be necessary for families to come and pick up their students in a formalized controlled release. This is called reunification. DCSD's number one priority is keeping our students safe. In order to make that happen, we ask for families' assistance in three ways. Stay home, stay informed, and be ready. During an emergency, the most important contribution that you can make to your child's safety is to stay home. The natural instinct for any parent or guardian is to go to your child's school, but by doing so, you may endanger yourself and your child. During a crisis, law enforcement and school personnel are busy working to control the situation, and your arrival may distract them from the emergency. Please do not come to the school. Next, families are encouraged to stay informed. The Douglas County School District is committed to providing families information as soon as possible, but in some situations, accurate information can take some time to verify and share. During an emergency, DCSD will work to notify family members via several communication avenues, primarily the district website, voice, text, and email messages, our mobile app, social media including our Facebook and Twitter page, and local news media. Please be sure that your contact information, including phone number and email address, are updated in Parent Portal. If anything needs to be updated, contact your school registrar. In some cases, students may be asked to send a text message to a parent or guardian. A reunification message from a student may look something like this. Do not call or text a student because you may put the student at risk. Our students are taught to stay out of sight and quiet. So a phone ring or vibration may draw attention from an attacker. Be ready. During a reunification event, you will be informed of where and when to pick up your child and what you'll need to bring. In some situations, students may be moved to a nearby location like a school or community center. When asked, parents and guardians need to come to the reunification center. We encourage each family to only send one adult rather than multiple family members. Parents and guardians will need to fill out a reunification card and show photo ID. It is crucial that we have an accountable exchange in which a student is only released to the guardians or parents in their records. Please be patient. This process can take time. By working together, we can keep our students safe. And in the Douglas County School District, safety is our number one priority.